the sun with light colored clothing, sunscreen. Hopefully at some point here in the next couple of days, we'll see just, you know, a touch of relief, Matt. <laughs> just just a little poke, I think is all we're, we're gonna get. Uh, I will tell you what, not to wear the suit this week because it's so hot outside. I tell you what, just standing out there, you guys feel it, you guys are in the heat too. My goodness, it is warm. Uh, we've got temperatures ranging all around 100 degrees area wide. Northwest Arkansas, River Valley. I have to officially go off of the thermometers there at the airports to get the official uh, rating, but a lot of folks are sending in reports of over 100 even in Benton County and Washington County at your own house. It's definitely possible. It's hot. Let's talk about drought conditions because remember we went with this spring that was so wet and then we turned the faucet off big time, just barely any drips. Well, we have that dry, abnormally dry condition coming in Northwest Arkansas. Technically not a drought yet, but the next update for the drought comes tomorrow, comes every Thursday at eight o'clock uh, central time. And so we'll have that chance to see if the drought is also expanding. We've got new burn bans that have been put into place too. We'll continue to watch those. It looks like in the long range pattern, and we'll talk a little bit more about this coming up tonight at 10. So you wanna tune in at 10 as we have that 10 day forecast. But we may have some more rain chances on the way. This weekend though, maybe a little bit, but still a lot of heat, I think, for us. For this evening, no rain in sight. Temperatures in those upper 90s, low 100s. We'll cool off to low 90s by about 9 o'clock. We may not get to the 80s until 10, 11, or even midnight for some of us as high pressure holds for us here at home. However, the dome is starting to erode on its northern side. That's because of this boundary between the hot air and the cooler air. Overall, this boundary is going to sink south the next couple of days and maybe give us just a touch of relief. It's not going to really bring cooler air in, but it will help switch the wind direction around, get a north wind that helps cut down the humidity just a bit. The problem is it may be coming just a little bit later. It may not be here till more tomorrow or Saturday afternoon and evening. What that means is that Saturday may end up still being kind of hot, and then we'll just have to see when that north wind comes in. You may not feel really the full impact until Sunday. So that's what's new here at four. Just maybe have to wait a little bit longer uh, for some of that cooler air. Overnight tonight though, be clear, I mean, other than the haze. Of course we got that because it's just so humid, but overnight tonight we're expecting temperatures to try to get to some 70s. Some of us may not even be able to get out of the 70s starting in the low 80s, but then we quickly warm back, back up. Same story, just a different day. Temperatures in the upper 90s and low 100s. But we're waiting for that front. We're waiting for that north wind. And as it comes in, may give us a couple showers Friday night and into Saturday. If you get rain, that'll help cool you off even more. If not, you'll just have to wait for that north wind to come in. Not everyone's gonna get a shower, but some of us will. But all of us will get that north wind at some point. And so what I've done is, I think Sunday's really gonna be the bigger impact when you notice that heat index really drops. Still, you know, warm, of course it's July. But Saturday, we may notice a bit of a break. The next two days though, they're gonna be tough on us. Here's your seven day forecast. Lots of heat, Thursday, Friday, just a touch cooler, barely a touch cooler for this weekend as we got a chance for an isolated shower, thunderstorm, and temperatures in the mid 90s. But it looks like next week we start heating back right up once again. All right. Thanks so much, Matt. A one of a kind Bob Dylan recording is going under the hammer at Christie's in London. Coming up next, we have how this old song is breaking new ground.